Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back! Seven Days to Die. We're inside the art gallery, and it's pretty wild in here, and it's nighttime. Nighttime's the right time if you want to kill some zombies. Oh. Uh oh, I hear... I hear peoples. That light you saw down there? I dropped a... Uh, I had two Molotovs. Oh. And they were take. I had stuff taken up inventory space, so I just dropped them. In the past, it used to be if you just dropped Molotovs out of your inventory, they would actually explode right on the ground, like you threw them right at your feet and catch you on fire. But they changed that. <laughs> Thank goodness. They changed that. Wake up. Wake up. Lady. Do 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 do. I'm not a trap. I'm a unicorn. It's a total trap. There's the trap right there. Right there, right there, right there. On to spikes. Okay. <laughs> do not, do not go in there. And that's all metal. So it's not like you can just, you can't just look. That's metal. Well, that's that. Look at that. You would fall down in there. And you can't go that way. It's like if you get turned around, you don't know which way to come out. That stuff's slowly going to bleed you out. I mean, you don't want to fall down with that between your legs. Dang it, dude. That's going to hurt. It's almost better to, to look through this place at night. It's trippy looking. Love. It's like the love shack or something. Oh, hello. Okay. All right, so someone's on display in there. Oh, it's it's pretty eerie in here because it's kind of wide open and just with your flashlight, it, it gives you what, what feels like even more limited view. Dude, the bass is kicking. Do do big do boo boo. Love, more love. I guess level three is the love level, lady. You gonna barf up electricity again? This is like, this must be like the security guards of the place. from over here why did I miss this level here I 
guy's on the other side of some glass, like bulletproof glass or something. All right, you just stay there and keep banging into that. Such is life. Okay, so that's supposed to be some kind of art. How fast did that guy run around the corner? Yeah, yeah, using the using the SMG though, you go through your bullets way faster than with just this guy. Now again, this thing is stronger than Okay, alright, that's how we're gonna play it. Alright, we can play it that way. Anybody else want to barf on me? No? Didn't think so. And the, the, this gun, the, the SMG actually degrades pretty fast. I guess it's probably equal to the amount of bullets you put through it, but this one is 44 range damage. Well, this one's saying 48, interestingly enough. But what I find, maximum range 18, 13. What I find is, like, if, if I take one person and, like, get headshots or whatever, I can kill him quicker with the pistol. That was one shot for that guy. This guy is much stronger. Two shots for him. He's not dead. It's three, four, five, six. Two versus six. That's why the pistol's so strong. Even though those numbers don't really dictate that, I've proven that time and time again. If you've lost your balls, are right here. Time and time again, I've proven that the pistol, one for one versus the SMG, is stronger. But the SMG, being 50 round mag, right? You can just go to town with it. Sometimes when they're up close, you just need to spray lead, like this. Instead of trying to get that one good shot in with your pistol, I guess what I'm saying is have one of each. <laughs> have one of each, man. feel like um, John Wick going through here with my pistol. Especially with shots like that second one there. Oh, he just ran over the crawler! The ability to knock them down in groups is increases your survivability by a lot. Is this that, what's that one game? Uh, reminds me of that Chinese Go, but it doesn't use pins. Ooga booga! Ooga booga booga! Doesn't that look like an ooga booga? Oh, he's encased in something. That's why I couldn't shoot him. He's actually on display. I don't think you can break through that. Oh! Spike it. Alright, I think that we went everywhere except for this center section where the plane is. I don't think anything's up there. I thought there was another... 
Th th wait, there's a roof. How do I get to the roof? Ah, oh, snake! Why is there a snake in here? That's not cool. There, there's a... Is there that elevator thing, maybe? That's not elevator. That's an elevator. I think I need to get to the roof of this joint. I don't remember how to find the staircase. Oh, I have three points. Delish. Yeah, I still need to go. I need three more points. All right, how do we get to the roof? There's got to be a way. All right, maybe... <coughs> we'll go as high as we can in this weird area. Alright, it's not working out for me. <laughs> Ooh, look at it. They decided to give me a really crappy auto shoddy. Where is... Oh, there. Found it. Roof. Choppa. Seven days to die, Choppa. You know there's going to be some vultures up in this joint. Ammo, please. Oh yeah, munitions great. I don't even, I'm not even optimistic about getting something decent out of here. I mean, bullets and shells are good. That's where we were last time. Got that, something over there. Hoop. Oh shoot, there they are. Don't want to fall through that. So your reward for coming up here is getting bit by vultures. It's pretty cool how they... Uh, there might be something in there. It's pretty cool how they did the electrical systems. It looks cool. Okay, what do we got here? Wow. How neat does that look? If you owned... <laughs> Just think, if you own your own building, I mean, to have something like this up on the roof, like for lunch, or to do your little relaxation, that's a longer drop than I wanted to do. Oh, this is what I, see, this is what I was thinking of. I knew there was a glass area. I thought it was down by the plane, but it's in here. Can you... See, it goes around this way. Oh, it's right. It's on the roof, man. All right, we got to check this out. Nope, nothing to see here. How's that leg feeling, huh? Is that leg hurting? Huh? Death by kneecap. Death by kneecap. All right, generator. Generator. Okay, that could be explosive danger. So could that. Oh, that was a good hit. All right, you pissed off, huh? You mad? Probably more mad now. 
Yeah, they did like a lot of good detail work on this on this particular building. Inside, like cool artistic stuff, but this roof super detailed. It's a neat building. I like it a lot. We going to the look at this. How relaxing is this? Alright, I take it back, it's not relaxing anymore. Putting snakes down in there. What kind of malarkey is that? Putting snakes down in there. How are you supposed to relax when there's snakes? Dude, I don't think there's a payoff here. If there is, I don't know where it's at. Where'd those snakes go. There's one dead one. It's under the ground. They're like pythons, man. Look at the mouths on those bad boys. That would hurt. You know, this was relaxing for a minute. Then the snakes came out. Alright, I do not see a payoff out here. This is where the hand is. It's a really neat building. Although, and there's plenty of zombies for fun, right? But the problem is, where, where, where my payoff at? Look at that guy. Cowboy Bob just sitting down there like, look, I want to, I want to live. I want to live. I don't want to die. All right, this way, this way. We're getting out of here. This way, this way, this way. We're actually gonna go out the exit, not the entrance. Look at Exito. Oh shoot! Exit. See ya. All right, we made it out, kind of in one piece, almost. Okay, let's move, let's move uh, this way a little bit farther. See what else is possibly up here. See, that straight ahead looks like that's definitely a town I didn't hit. I came back in on the helicopter to that over there. All right, let's race across this desert real quick. See what these things, buildings are over here. Look out for the cac cactus count as trees, right? If I run into them? I think so. Let's check the map real quick. Yeah, I have not gone this way. See what this is they got themselves a fast food joint and a prison what else do you need oh tree joey's car lot jack's lumber mill Let's see what's going on in this town Oh, we got that school and stuff still to do with that other place. The wood, there's a nice, interesting house there. So that's the lumber mill and this is the lumber yard, or the mill. Is that two? It is, two mills right next to here. Talk about competition, holy cow. Smoked ribs, dude. Hey, the bear den, bear. We know what's in there. There's a couple of bears in there. 
When you flush, think of us. Dude, the desert is full of vultures. Dude, we should go get some ribs though, right? Don't ribs sound good right now? Dang! All right, what else we got? Am I gone? Funeral home, the crematorium, the skate park. Passing gas. Waterworks, Stinky's Oil Company, Junkyard. Another passing gas. Waterworks. Big pharmacy. Look at this place. Interesting. Popping pills. Look at that logo up there. How cool is that? That aqua blue one. I like that. Not two prisons in the same town? What is this, Colorado Springs? Is it? There's a town in, or a valley in Colorado that has multiple prisons. I forget where it is, or what it's called. This is kind of a typical town. Nothing standing out huge for me here. Thinking about shooting back across the desert. Yeah, any town that has like too many passing gases in it, you know these guys aren't environmentally friendly. I'm out of here. Although this house over here has got piqued my interest a little bit. This one, Journey's End. Okay, that's the. Um, so that place used to be, the it's the one random. Uh, building that you find up in the snow area on the default map, I believe. It's like a... I don't know, what do you call it? I think that's the one. I like a log cabin in a lodge. You know what I'm saying? Alright, so that tall building is a good reference marker. So we're going to this town over here. Is there someone literally running that fast behind me? Sounded like it. like forts you guys like me do you like little fort looking places I don't know I guess that's the the kid still trying to trying to play I always liked forts you know I, I thought about it as I got older I wanted to like like when I could actually buy wood right like go to Home Depot and buy real wood and make a real fort and I never did it I always use like cardboard boxes and stuff <laughs> but that would be cool to see ya exactly that would be pretty cool to actually build one alright we got stinky's oil here I wouldn't mind doing like even a, a regular type type building it doesn't have to be one of the modded buildings because there's plenty of good buildings. And sometimes, well, a lot of times, you don't even know. Unless you recognize the building, you don't know what secrets that could be in there. Good secrets. All right, all right. Oh, I remember this one. So this one here... To get in there, I believe you have to go through the motel, and then it goes underground over to there, I think. Let's try this one. Let's check it out real quick. I think this is the way. Look at this, it's like the bat cave with the brick. And 
look, we go up into that house. This is the way in. Now, you think that someone, like, did this because it was a survival situation. Those dogs sound like they're outside. Trap door. Maybe up that way. Dude, those dog sounds freaking me out, man. Someone was hiding back in here. Carbon monoxide for days with that barrel burning, though, right? Corn? Didn't that say ammo? I thought that was an ammo pile. Oh, hello. I still don't get why one next to the other doesn't, they don't blow each other up, right? They're at the front door trying to get in. They don't know the super secret way to go through the motel to get here. Suckers. Always hiding in the corners, aren't you? Didn't I just see someone walk past here? Oh shoot, that's not a dog, that's a wolf. Came in through right here. He's like, dude, I don't need to go through the motel. I'll chew my way through the side of the house. These guys are cheaters, man. They're not following the rules. <laughs> Whoopsie daisy. Oh, yeah. Oops. Shot whatever loot was in there. Loot, please. I just think it's fun working your way through these houses. I don't know. Call me a simpleton, but this game never had this stuff. And when they implemented it, it, it made it so much better. Gave you more things to do. Oh, shoot. These guys are going to explode on me. Okay. Thought I was being crafty and made my way around it. Apparently, this is the room of death. Bales here. At least they gave me a ladder to get back out. Thank you very much. Up and down we go. No bed to drop on? See, that's what happens when you eat too many donuts. You can't hide. You get the indigestion and it gives your position away. Hold on, tell us to come down here. Oh, this is the payoff. This is the payoff room right here. Twenty-two iron crossbow bolts working still. Oh, more of these guys. I don't even have a rocket launcher yet. Alright, well that's the payoff room. We did it. Look at that. See? 
What looks like a simple house is actually fun. You go in through the motel. There's actually another thing up above. You can go, you go up into the attic over where I was and you go in through the attic around all the way to this end here. And there's uh, like uh, some boxes or some loot of some kind down there. Pretty sure. Should we go try and find it? Let's check it out. I think it's in one of these rooms. I think it's in there to throw you off. Like you see the ladder, right? And you don't see that. There it is. Or vice versa. What could be down here? Ooh, Shaka Messiah crate. Oh, okay. Contact grenades. That's... Okay, those are dangerous sounding, right? You should try them. Oh, my... Alright, I'm getting a little low here on ammo. Not low on shotgun ammo, I'll tell you that for free. This looks like a trap, huh? Fall down into this room. Oh, it's unlocked. Interesting. Let's see if they have any oh shiz drops. No. What? Alright, give me something I can throw a contact grenade at. Oh, is that? Oh my gosh, you guys. Up there on the hill right there in front of us. Up there. That's that mall. See, I thought that was that other big mall way back where we started. This one. But it's not. This is the one that has the blown out back. This one is chock-a-block full of fools. And it's a super fun place to do a to do a blood moon. I mean, it's deadly. It's like it's like a bad decision, but it's fun <laughs> because of it, you know. Because there is there's not only the the blood moon fools, but there's it, it's it's. I remember going in there. It is chock a block full of fools. Someone who will remain nameless totally got his butt kicked in there. Could have been because I was shooting him, too. Oh, barrel. Oh, contact grenade time. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Throw it. Ow! Oh, I pulled the pin, and I still had it in my hand. Pull the pin. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Did it kill him? I don't think it killed him. It killed him. Dude! Where's that bear? Oh, He had the, the whimpering crying thingy. I had to test out the contact. Where's the bear? He was back here. Bero? He was laying- Oh, shoot! Graphical glitch. Huh. Hey -ya. It's not working. Oh, it, it actually worked pretty pretty good because it it only took a couple bullets to take his head off. Alright, you guys, seriously though. No joking around. Next episode. That place up there. Let's go take a sneak peek. There is the whole back of the... I don't even know if it's... It might be like a, a Walmart or something. Because it, it seems like it's like a... Kind of like a grocery store in the front. But in the back here where it's all like leveled. All that debris there. There's actually mine. I think there's mines in there. Or did we put mines in there? 
dude. This place is no joke. We thought this would be a good place to fight. Oh, it was so bad. It was so bad. But it was exciting. Let me look and see. See, I thought in the, this rubble, there was mines. Maybe we must, maybe we put them down. But look, they put all this barricade stuff up. So we thought we'd build up and we tried. There's mines down there. That rabbit just hit one. Dude, that, <laughs> that rabbit just hit a mine. Oh, they are totally hidden down there. They are totally hidden down there. I can't even see him. Oh, this is a bad, this is bad idea. Maybe they're just down in this trench. There's so much foliage and debris though. Oh, that is super dangerous. I think I just ran by one. Oh my gosh. All right, I got to put my stuff away. We'll go in and check this place out. It's, um, let's see, is it open to the, you can see it's pretty good size. This is the, obviously the debris section, but in here it's, it's probably like a Walmart or something. I remember running around in here. It's like big grocery store type thing. And they just kept coming and coming and coming. So many zombies. Anyway, you guys, don't forget to hit the like button. Comment down below. See you guys next episode.